my students and good evening all my cadets. This here's the Sarge and this is my new video of politics segment and I want to tell all my little Sarge fans out there right now that we are going to take you all to school and learn some things about some no good filthy maggots. Maggots children, that's what they're called. And right now we're going to bust a move on a bad one right now. And of course it's one of the granddaddies folks. It's Sister Sarah. Now you're wondering, well Sarge, what the hell did Sister Sarah do? Well it ain't what the old girl did do, it's what she did didn't do. And I tell you I've got some news here and it's just gonna blow your mind ladies and gentlemen. Listen to this. We all know old uh, uh, Lou Dobbs Dobbs. Well, guess what, folks? He's on Fox now. Yes, sir. Old Lou Dobbs is on Fox now. And guess what happened? Sister Sarah was supposed to be on his debut show. Or debut, pardon me. Debut show. And guess what happened? She didn't show. That's right, boys and girls. Sister Sarah did not show. Because why? Because Sister Sarah cancels all the time and this is a girl running for president of the United States hells bells and whistles folks how in the hell can she be accountable for anything well let's see just how much she's canceled shall we first of all she canceled old Lou Dobbs hell that's just as bad as it comes ain't it she also canceled two major California fundraisers in Orange County Republicans insiders were distributing 15,000 tickets for the event, which had to be canceled. Also, Sister Sarah canceled fundraising trips to Dayton and Cincinnati, Ohio, a private fundraiser in Virginia Beach, an appearance in Seattle, an appearance in 2009 at the Semi Valley Ronald Reagan Library, an appearance and speech. Uh, to South Florida conservatives uh, for at least the fourth time. The fourth time, children, that's what I'm saying, the fourth time in the preceding months, Palin canceled an appearance in Anchorage shortly before the scheduled uh, appearance, including a speech schedule at the annual Congressional Republican fundraising dinner in D.C. and appearance in the Alaska Family Council. Holy cow, you cow burgers. Uh, President Jim Mannery was surprised by the cancellation and said, Hell's bail. All we can do is take people at their word and that they worked with in the cancellation and said, uh, Hell, uh, what the hell are we going to do? Because they're very disappointed right now. But you know, folks, that's Sister Sarah for you because she is just so damn unreliable. And get this, folks. Get this. What if she did become president? Hell, that's, that's just as bad as it is. Well, where I get all my information from, from this little uh, article, is called Order Press, WordPress, excuse me, WordPress.com. And the lady who wrote this article even said, Imagine if she failed to appear with a meeting with Japan's Prime Minister, Yuko Hatoyama, to discuss America's response to the disaster of Japan. Palin's dad explained that she doesn't feel comfortable around Asians. It's a minority thing, if you know what I mean. However, the Prime Minister might not understand her insensitivity during these turmoil times. Now, folks, let me tell you something. Sister Sarah thinks she's cool, going to be running for president and all. Well, and she thinks like, oh, wow, I'm going to be the first woman. The hell she is. Y'all don't remember Ronald Reagan's last four years? He slept during the White House. Nancy Reagan was the president then. So, hell's bell. Sure as hell wasn't going to be the first woman then because it was on Nancy. And let me tell you something right now, Sister Sarah. We're going to break you down, girl. We're going to screw you. Where's old Etch at? Yeah, that's right, folks. Old Glenn Beck's got a chalkboard. Well, guess what? I got old Etch and Sketch right here. Now, here's what we know. Sister Sarah is from Alaska. We know that. See, that, that she's from Alaska. Uh, she can see Russia from her house. Yeah, we, we know she can see Russia from her house. She's extremely racist. We know that because she's uncomfortable around Asians. Yeah. Okay, now, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to make a new word here. We're, we're, we're going to take these letters I got circled. And yes, sir, we're, we're just going to make us a new word here. Now, you hold on because, folks, we have got to get our learning together, and we're going to take the letters that we learned. Where am I at now? Hold on, folks, boys and girls, because you all are going to be amazed by this. Let's see. we got a V. we got a E, X, A, T, I, O, U, S. 
There it is, folks. Your new word for today. Vexatious. Vexatious. Now you may wonder, well, Sarge, what the hell does vexatious mean? Well, kids, I'm going to tell you what it means right now. Because vexatious means, I looked it up on Britannica. Britannica, it says, acting in an intelligent, unintelligent, or careless manner. Or in other words, jaw jacking turkey, sam ass, dumb, who is stupid, which is what Sarah Palin is. So there you have it, folks. Next time you're in a conversation with a maggot, you just go ahead and tell them they're vexatious. And that means they're jaw jacking stupid. Tell them the Sarge sent you. And that's it for tonight, kitties. Class dismissed.